common question we get in the clinic is, can I heal my rotator cuff injury? Before we answer that question, let's take a look at the, what the rotator cuff is and then see what we can do about it. First of all, the rotator cuff is four muscles, consists of four muscles that attach to the shoulder blade and that attach to the arm. The shoulder blade is the, the bone in back of your shoulder. So if you're looking at my right shoulder, this would be the shoulder blade. This is the arm bone or the humerus. Humerus, this is the collarbone or the clavicle going across. And this is a little bone called the acromion. And what the acromion is, is a little extension that is right here off of the shoulder blade. Rotator cuff is four muscles. One muscle is in the front. Three muscles are on the back side of the shoulder blade. Why is that important? One of those muscles goes through a small space right here. The big fancy term for that is subacromial space. And what happens is as we age or because of an injury or because we sleep like this over a period of time, that space can close down. And what that does is that pin pinches on the tendon. Over time, that can cause a rotator cuff tear. Or with most people that we see in the clinic, what happens is they get a condition called rotator cuff impingement. And what the person will say is I either have, I have pain right here or perhaps out a little bit. And especially it will be aggravated with reaching behind the back, raising the arm up to the side, reaching overhead, or sleeping on my stomach or on my side with my arm like this. Uh, some people will also know if they're driving and that the affected side, their hand is on the wheel, that they'll experience some pain with that as well. Now, can we heal that? Well, let me ask you this question. Or let's take a look at it, at it like this. Is there anything that we can do to open up that space and relieve pressure on the rotator cuff? And the answer is yes. Just looking at it from the issue right here, what's the first thing we can do? Well, we can, there are manual hands-on physical therapy techniques from a good physical therapist that can pull the arm down, open up this space. It's very gentle, it's not rough, there's no popping or cracking or anything like that. There's a series of movements that a trained physical therapist can do to increase the space here. What does that do? It decreases inflammation, it decreases pain, it allows the tendon to heal, and in most cases the person gets their full range of motion back and they get full strength back. Now, as a listener, you're probably not interested in any of those things outside of decreased pain. But what that means is that you can get back to the activities that you want to do. Perhaps it's getting dressed, perhaps it's reaching behind your back, or doing another activity without that pain and discomfort, you can get your life back. So we do hands-on techniques to open that up, and then we retrain the muscles that control that joint, that control that area, to keep it that way. So the answer to the question, can I heal my rotator cuff injury, is yes, for most people. If there's a full thickness rotator cuff tear, can that be healed? That's a tough one. Some people who are relatively healthy and work hard in physical therapy, what can happen is all the other muscles that surround the joint, uh, we can make that area strong enough or they can make that area strong enough that it compensates for the tear that they have. Occasionally, surgery is needed. Occasionally, when, phys when good physical therapy fails, a surgeon will go in and open up that space and what they do is literally they cut away the bone here and open up the space where that tendon slides through. They can also do a repair and a few other things. But for most people, 90% of the time with a normal rotator cuff injury or rotator cuff impingement, good physical therapy with hands-on training and the right exercise, we can open up that space, keep it that way and heal.